we're going with you over here at Fort Wayne at the Navistar Works for International Scout Plant. Or a hop a shuttle. I got the front row seat over here. They managed to fill up all the parking lots. They're opening the gate for us. Go back and look at some show trucks, man. The old Navistar works over there. They opened the gate up and started filling people in there. A lot of people leaving already. But yeah, I was the first one here. He said it was alright to park there. Opened up at noon. This this area is off limits. This has on the one thing. I, I lost that piece of paper already. GM, uh, C, and Chevy, Denali, Duramax. Another cool shuttle. They're running three shuttles. And, uh, I'll probably walk back to the car. I'm not sure, but. So it wouldn't have mattered where I parked, I could have just jumped the shuttle. But uh, yeah, I, I wanted to beat the crowd here and I was successful. A blue, blue truck. A shuttle bus full. That'd be four shuttles. Plain Jane truck. And then the show participants would pull into the back preferably. That looks like a paint shop over there, doesn't it? So this is the show area we want. I figured uh, the shuttle guys were taking a lunch break. The truck for sale, I seen him, he got here earlier today. A lot of people parked back here, so. Thank you. Somebody went through a lot of trouble to bring some lawnmowers. Some red lawnmowers here today. This guy's tagged in Ohio. I was going to ask him what he wanted for that. Yeah, there's a couple of new pickups over here. With the farm all trucks, and the red pickup, some more, some more tractors, okay. Michigan people. Some pretty girls. Some Fort Wayne, Indiana women. We'll just start out in this corner. Oh, it's going to be a lot. I don't see my friend here. He talked me into coming. I figured I would have seen him by now. Some uh, stuff from the farm side. Which my plan was to go to farm days today, Saturday, because it was going to rain Friday. And we did get some bad weather, but it never did rain over home. And it never rained here. So, uh, you'd be concerned if he's like riding a motorcycle, and then in this case, even with the Prius, it's thirty dollars in gas to come to Fort Wayne and back, about three hundred miles. And then I didn't want to drive up here and spend the gas money, and then have it rain, even though a lot of the shows indoors. So this truck started out green, the front end did anyway. Looks like. Yeah. Seen some scouts who hadn't seen today. I seen those guys pulling in this morning. They said turn around and go to the back gate. Um, there's another, there's a test track here, a, a short one. A standby generator. Nice old truck from the 60s. Had a couple people ask me about my channel if, when I was filming. Um, This one looks like that Connecticut one we've seen. That was a Scout National we went to with that red thing roundup. It's based out of New Haven, Connecticut. Or uh, New Haven, New Haven, Indiana, I'm sorry. 
an international school bus. Very, very um, classy looking scout here. Straight as a mirror. Powder coating extensively. Fresh, fresh showroom. Huntington, Indiana, Hunter Town. Huh. Don't know to say a state, but a, a nice example of a bus here. Navistar Inc. That was their bus. There still is. There's still people finding out that Volkswagen bought Navistar, which happened about three years ago. Some very cool uh, laser. You could almost say that's a Bronco or a Scout. That one looks more like a Scout because of the grill. Really cool. So the coffee maker. We saw one of those somewhere. I guess what that is. Um, replacement Scout parts. New old stock. And this is sign over here. Fort Madison, I wonder where that's at. So, a calendar truck. It's got the sport mirrors, a very cool road bar with some lure action going on. Spare tire in the corner. It looks like a plastic insert in the tailgate, but it could be, I'm not sure, molded in or fiberglass it looks like a plastic insert so this is the the, the parts guy's personal rig he's showing it he drove here from Iowa I, guess, I would think nice looking truck in uh, one of his collection it's a gunmetal gray kind of flip flops on me the black top it's got that pickup look interior Yep. Let the fun begin. We're back here. Kind of a swap part, part swap area over here, isn't it? Looks like Navistar put a newer building on there, a metal building for something or other, and they would add on here and there, and a courtyard here, and as time went by. So that one there might be the oldest international I've seen. We'll check it out here in a minute. Yeah, some um, some high end parts, man. Like superb over here. Harvester Homecoming, Fort Wayne, Indiana. Bert Rudder, thanks again.